Welcome ladies and gentlemen, and today we are going to begin our playthrough of Dark Souls 3. Oh yeah, I'm really excited about this, I can't wait. So, without any further ado, let's begin. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. wouldn't you say so as I think I mentioned in my update video I think we're gonna play a luck bleed character we're gonna make me mature we're gonna play as the thief since he starts with the highest luck low faith low int and burial gift eh, it really doesn't matter I mean, there are some that are just totally garbage, like uh, the Rusty Gold coin. There's really no reason to start with that. Um, I'm gonna actually going to take the soul, just for the extra 2,000 souls. A couple extra levels early on. I know, you don't really need them, but... You know, 2,000 souls later on is nothing. But early on, that's the difference between a couple levels. got this cool graveyard to me it has like a very uh, Castlevania style to it Ooh. Dracula's gonna rise up from the grave so I should make a note we're not playing online um, not really a huge fan of PvP in general but in this game there's more risk than reward especially if you're end up with somebody who's hacking 
and I end up with 60,000 souls because of it. You know, we just don't want to have that happen. So, in addition to that, I play on a wireless connection. And if you get disconnected, you get booted back to the main menu. So that would really suck if we had to deal with that during our playthrough. So, it's been a long time, guys. Five years since I've done anything. Pretty crazy, right? The Ashen Estes Flask. Now, I'm going to play this kind of with the assumption that a lot of people have already played it. Or at least understand the basics of the game. Well, maybe I should have. Maybe I should No, no, no. Wait your turn. Not fair. I thought you had me, didn't you? I'm just going to tear through this opening area. There's really not much here. A couple enemies. We can showcase our awesome skills. And I'm going to make a note right off the bat. In case you guys don't want to watch the rest of this <laughs> playthrough, there's going to be a lot of deaths. You know, there's just no way around it. This is certainly not going to be a skill demonstration. But look at that. You know, it would be pretty cool to go hiking in these mountains. Look, it's like a throne right there for a giant. That's where I want to go, right there. You know, so it's going to be some deaths. There's probably going to be, you know, some profanity and all sorts of other good stuff. So, just be prepared. You know, you're going to say to yourself at one point, Oh my god, this guy's terrible. Why is he playing this game? But that's one of the cool things about it, you know. There's a lot of randomness to the fights. You know, one mistake and you can be punished brutally for it, so... Hopefully there's not too many of them, though. Oh, yeah. Gotta love that backstab. Alright, we're up to... Ooh, an item. Up to 250 souls. Alright. <laughs> we're balling. Oh, I jumped way too early. Yeah. I need that, too. That's a important item, so... We'll have to go back for that. Take care of this guy first. And we'll drop down on this unsuspecting fool. And then we got his buddy. Oh. No, no. Oh. Asshole. Asshole. Okay, he's gonna kill me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm, my back is against the wall. Oh, dear. That was bad. That was really bad. You can see how this playthrough is kind of go, huh? Alright. Can't mi miss time my jump. I got stuck against the corner there. Alright, let's do this right this time. There we go. Holy crap, he made a huge jump there. Alright. We should be alright for the first boss, right? Half-life, uh... Actually, I'm going to heal because it only takes one or two hits from this guy to kill you, but... Alright, let's look at him. Let's, let's look at his Resident Evil growth coming out of him. Looks like one of those Wolverines in the uh, basement of the castle in Resident Evil 4. That growth on his back. You just start beating the shit out of him. Now here's the first boss. Elix Gunder. Pretty cool fight. He bled right there. I don't even think I need to roll. Well, I'm just gonna roll, just for the sake of rolling. Oh! Stay behind him, or he will make your life. Whoa! Let's go for the throat. Go for the throat. Whew. All right. First boss down. That's it. Walkthrough's over.
It's an awesome fight. Just like a great fight. Oh, let's rest. Yeah, I got no Estus. See, he was worth 3,000 souls. Now, I should mention there was a path early on that we could have went down um, that has uh, an enemy there. And he's a fun enemy, but I, I don't want to fight him right now because I can guarantee you he's going to kill me. With our little dinky dagger. We just don't stand much of a chance against him. Alright, let's see if we can parry this guy. Oh yeah. Parrying in this game is a little more difficult than it was in previous games. You know, you can't be on top of him. That's like one of the mistakes I have a real bad habit of making. I'll get too, way too close to him, so then you're hitting the handle of the weapon, or the shaft of the weapon, depending on what it is. You gotta aim more for the tip. And this isn't exactly like the greatest shield for parrying, although it's not really all that bad. It's only uh, two weight, but uh, there's better ones, way better ones. Slap him a few times. Oh, roll out of the way. Gotcha. And your boy there can't hurt me. You're just gonna stand there, huh? Well, he knew death was coming to him. If the guy with the spear couldn't kill me, what chance does he have? I know. He knows, too. Death was inevitable. Don't get up on my account. No, seriously, don't. There's a shield over here we can pick up. And there's a guy... Well, I think it's a guy. It doesn't matter. Um, up there, you can see him chilling. He's got a really good weapon. If you feel like fighting him right now, you're more than welcome to. This is a nasty mofo. I don't feel like dying. But you can knock him off the cliff. That's actually the easiest way to kill him. Maybe I'll go fight him. Just to show you guys how nasty he is. And how terrible I am at this game. I think he's easier than the other thing at this point in the game, but they both kill you pretty quick. Hey there, little doggy. I hate these things. Any enemy that's a dog in any game is like the worst enemy ever. Remember those ones in Resident Evil? They're just nasty. I'd rather have a room full of hunters than a bunch of dogs. Then we have a Firelink Shrine. Now this is our main hub throughout the entire game. I'm going to stick the sword in that we pulled out of Gunder, and that's going to make this bonfire awesome. It's going to make it fiery. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I'm a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Cool. Did you Ashen say anything one, else? To be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen one, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Great. Their what? Well, you'll have to forgive the weed whacker in the oh. background. Another one, roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. We get a gesture from Don't him. Don't you think? He's, he's not a very happy <laughs> camper. He's a little emo. And these are the thrones that they were talking about. There's Yorm from the intro. The Abyss Watchers. You got King Lothric, who was the one putting the crown on, I think. Uh, that dude 
it's the only one who's actually alive. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child cause. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Knowest thou of our purpose? Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast-fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. Uh... Is it just me, or is he missing his legs? No style of... Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now, now. Do not be away over long. He is. He, he's got... This dude has no legs. Maybe that's why he didn't get, all, <laughs> get out of the throne. I feel bad for him. Alright, next. It's a pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. Great. As is thy want? No? I do. I want to bring you <laughs> souls. But you don't have to be so creepy. Alright, so we can sell a few things to her. No, I can't sell it because it's equipped. Can sell that for a whole three souls. Now, the thief is the only character in the game to start with um, a bow. So I think whoa, we don't want that many. I think we'll buy a few extra arrows because they're they're fairly useful. Let's see, what do we got for shields? That's too heavy. Definitely not parrying anything with that. 1.5, that would work. 1.5, that would work. 52 physical. 52, that better magic absorption. 39 stability, it really doesn't matter. You know what, for 500 souls, we'll buy that piece Ashen of crap. One. Be sure. Yeah, I don't care. And we'll consume this as well. Just to get that out of our inventory. We can go bleep, 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 equip the fire bombs since I like having them equipped. And here's our blacksmith. Well, you should remember him. A newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. Toilsome journey, I wager. You require good arms. Let me smith you weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Cool. So we can reinforce our weapons. We can infuse them, repair. A lot Estus. So we picked up that Ashen Estus flask at the beginning. It restores our FP or the blue bar there. Since we're not going to be using it, we're going to allot that all into the regular Estus flask. And you, if you Be notice careful. him, he actually has like a very squander. detailed character model, <laughs> and he's the only one to actually move his mouth when he talks. He had a, originally was a much um, greater purpose in this game, but they decided Ash not to do that. Produce the coiled sword. The mark of Ash will guide to Lothric, where the homes of the Lords converge. Oh. Very well. Then Tut take no. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna level up. Um, let's see, what do we need here? I think I'm going to do two points into Vigor. Two into, in three into Endurance. And one into Luck. Alright, beefed up. 
Farewell, Ashen. Now, I did promise. I know, I promised. We're gonna go fight that, the sword master. I know, I promised we'd do it. Um, you know, I probably should have healed my Estus Flask to give me four, but we're just gonna maverick it and hope for the best. Meh. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, they're already still dead. Alright, great. Excellent. So I can pull the, you can pull this guy with a bow, or you can just, well, you can run up to him and, never mind, I can't pull him with the bow. There we go. Oh, all right, here he comes. Lawn mower and all. All right. Oh, he bled out. All right. All right. Now he's in his hold stance. He's gonna charge at me. Oh yeah. All right, maybe you're not as hard as I thought you'd be. Let's goad him. Oh, okay, never mind. He's hard. I should throw a firebomb at your ass. Oh, he's dead. Huh. I thought you'd be tougher, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you pathetic. So he drops the Uchi Katana and the Master's Attire and the Master's Gloves, which we can actually equip because we don't have any gloves. Isn't that weird? Don't start the game with any gloves. Hmm. That guy was actually way easier than I expected him to be. I think upgrading our stamina was, like, really, really important. Because then we could always hit him enough times for him to bleed out. And that's 18%. Of his total life every time he bleeds so uh, it comes in handy all right guys so i think that's a good note to end this video on so thank you for tuning in take care and have a great day